Congratulations, class of 2020. Your journey to this moment is one that you, your friends and family will never forget. You should be proud. You've handled the challenges that have come your way with a combination of perseverance, confidence and grace. Please know that your community has rallied to let you know you're a very special graduating class and that we here at FCPS recognize your achievements as seniors. You join young people across the nation right now who are graduating under the shadow of a global pandemic. But I know that you are stronger for it, wiser for it, and you are kinder for it as well. The world is changing and we're looking to young people like yourselves to lead us into the future. I am truly excited about the opportunities that await you. Go out into the world and embrace all it has to offer. Find your joy. And now I leave you with the words of Ralph Waldo Emerson. My wish is that you will find comfort on difficult days, smiles when sadness intrudes, rainbows to follow the clouds, laughter to kiss your lips, sunsets to warm your heart, hugs when spirits sag, beauty for your eyes to see, friendships to brighten your being, faith so that you can believe, confidence for when you doubt, courage to know yourself, patience to accept the truth, love to complete your life. Congratulations on your graduation class of 2020, and I wish you all the best on your next great adventure. Hi, this is Elaine Tolan, Dreamsville School Board Representative. Congratulations, Langley High School class of 2020. I am so proud of all of that you have done already, but even more importantly, I'm excited for the hope you will bring to all of us as we watch you move on toward a future filled with accomplishments. We need your energy and your creativity to improve the fields of medicine, technology, environment, social justice, the arts, public infrastructure, and more. Our global challenges are large, but I know you are ready to keep learning and to apply your strengths to move us forward as a nation and as a world. Stay strong and positive and know that the Langley community is always here to support you. We look forward to hearing from you and hearing about future endeavors and adventures. Go Saxons, congratulations. Hi, I'm Karen Keyes Gamara. I'm Rachna Sizemore Heiser. I'm Abraro Mesh. And we're your three at large members on the Fairfax County School Board. And we're here to say congratulations, congratulations to the class of 2020. We are so incredibly proud of you. And we know that you've worked hard. So whether you're going to trade school or taking a gap year or going to college, we're really expecting you to change the world. We have been so impressed at your resilience in this time of chaos and your ability to find togetherness in moments of isolation. We know what you have lost is not trivial, but we also believe that when we come to the other side, you will be one of the greatest generations we have ever seen. And we can't wait to see what you will do. From virtual learning, sleepless nights, and all the friends and memories, we're counting on you to take notes on the needs in our world and to think of where your mark is going to be. We can't wait to see the legacy you leave in our history. Congratulations. Hello, faculty, staff, honored guests, friends, family, and parents. My name is Bob Changis, and I'm your senior class secretary. I'd like to welcome you all to Langley's Class of 2020 Virtual Graduation. Now, under normal conditions, I'd be advising you to turn off your cell phones and I'd be laying down the groundwork for how to act appropriately for the commencement ceremony. But let's be real, none of this is normal. The current situation and the loss of our senior end events such as prom, graduation, and a senior picnic are unfortunate. And no amount of tithings from our loved ones, from our family, and from our relatives will be able to replace what we feel as though we've missed out on. But that's okay. Sometimes life happens. It's all right. Nevertheless, the administration 
and the people producing this video have put in an incredible amount of effort and hard work into giving us the proper send off that we deserve. And I'd like to congratulate them first and foremost for trying their absolute hardest to replace something that we've lost forever. I'd also like to thank the teachers for the past four years who have played a fundamental part in all of our journeys, crafting the individuals that we are today. And I'd like to congratulate all of you for making it this far. We did it. We graduated. Believe it or not, we'll look back on this moment and we'll laugh. And we'll be happy that at least we experienced something that many, many students didn't. It's okay to feel upset about what we've lost, but let's not dwell on it. Such is life. This too shall pass. Go Saxons. Now, I'd like to introduce Kavya, who will lead us on in the pledge. Hi, my name is Kavya Vaj, and I've had the honor of serving as class vice president for the class of 2020. Now, if you would please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance and singing of the national anthem. Gentlemen, please take your caps off and all rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see If you would please take a seat. Thank you. Good morning, class of 2020. My name is Ishan Kathuria, and for this past year, I've had the honor of serving as your class treasurer. Now, before we continue with the ceremony, allow us to take a moment to remember those who cannot be with us today. In addition, I'd like to take this opportunity to ask all former and current members of the armed forces to please stand and be recognized. Furthermore, will the, will the following graduates please stand and be recognized for their future service in ROTC. Riker Benderwald at the University of Texas, Sonny Kang at Boston University, Andrew Leonard at Virginia Tech, Zoe Patton at Hawaii Pacific University, Spencer Brooks at Virginia Tech, Arne Vora at Texas A&M, and Simon Cassis at the University of Colorado Boulder. I'd like to thank you all for your courage in defending our great nation.
everyone. My name is Alexis Balin and I'm one of your SGA representatives. I absolutely love working with my fellow class officers, starting with our class president, Robert Hage, our vice president, Kavya Bij, and our secretary, Babak Changis, our treasurer, Ishan Kutheria, and last but not least, my fellow SGA reps, Megan Marquardt and Stephanie Dermanossian. Us officers were involved in many things, such as planning senior treat days, senior picnics, and any other special senior activity. However, we couldn't have done it without the help of class parents and especially Mr. Manisan and Ms. Baker. So, we all want to thank you so much for your help, patience, and dedication to making our senior year go as smoothly as possible. I couldn't have asked for a better group of people to have worked with this year. Goodbye, Saxons, and thank you so much for an amazing past four years. Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and fellow graduates. My name is Stephanie Dermanossian, and I am one of the SGA representatives for the class of 2020. Although I'd rather be delivering this speech in person, I'm honored to have your attention at this time. It was an absolute pleasure to have served you through our years at Langley. The past four years alongside my classmates have been unforgettable, and as sad as it is to leave things behind, I know we all have bright futures ahead of us. Here to give us some words of wisdom for our coming years in our next chapter, I have the distinct honor of introducing this year's keynote speaker, Lauren Shahadi, a successful American sportscaster for the MLB Network and Turner Sports. Ms. Shahadi is a Langley High School and University of Florida graduate. During her time at Langley, she was on the basketball and softball team, leading to her profound interest in sports. Her career in sportscasting started when she was the host of her school's online web show, then got her first job as a weekend sports anchor in Minot, North Dakota. She now works as a baseball anchor and reporter for MLB Network and TBS, where her most recent assignment was the field reporter for the Nationals Ride to the World Series. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Langley's 2020 keynote speaker, Ms. Lauren Shahadi. Students, teachers, parents, and staff, it is my great honor to be with you today. I'm a Saxon through and through, and I've found that many of the lessons I've carried with me through my life, I learned at LHS. Playing Saxon softball, I learned to be humble, that if you're good enough at something, you don't have to tell people about it. Others will do it for you. When we ran sprints during basketball practice, I learned not to complain because we were training for greatness and anything good is worth working for. And I learned upon graduation when my prospective employer asked if I could get the project done in half the time to say yes and figure it out later. That if your initial reaction is, we'll find a way, you're valuable in whatever you do. But perhaps the greatest lessons I've learned were from my classmates. I'm sure from your peers you've realized that there are many types of people in this world and which kind you want to be. And that's a wonderful thing, you're on your way. My oldest daughter goes to kindergarten and even at a young age, kids can be cruel. A couple months ago, they were sitting in art class. Two girls boxed my daughter out to get seats together. I always teach her if someone doesn't want to play with you, no big deal, you don't want to play with them either. Not everyone is going to like you and that's okay, that's just the way the world works. But she's six years old and of course she has feelings. Along comes a little girl named Elle who walked over to my daughter and said simply, you can sit with me. Just one little sentence meant the world. Be kind. You never know what someone else is going through. Kindness is always in style. My parents always told me character is what you do when nobody's watching. I went to school at University of Florida when Tim Tebow was there. He was larger than life, man. He was kind, personable, blessed beyond reason. Some people think he's perfect and others say his spiral wasn't up to par. None of that really matters, right? What does matter is that he's a good human being. I was in the journalism school and we had a banquet of which Tim was the guest speaker. He arrived early, smiled ear to ear, prepared, well-dressed, engaging. I was taken with the fact that his fame and his status didn't make him feel so privileged that he could show up late or be unprepared. I'll never forget, he was backstage about to go on and there were about 20 people working behind the scenes who went up to every single one of them, from the gentleman doing the catering to the lady who was cleaning the table. Tim looked them in the eye, he shook his hand and said, I'm Tim, thanks for having me. I'm honored to be here. No cameras, nobody saw this but me. Be the person who doesn't lose perspective and never becomes too big that you lose sight of what's right. Character is what you do when nobody's watching. There are the people who post flawless selfies on Instagram with a random quote, don't look back at yesterday, look ahead at tomorrow, when all they're really doing, we know, is looking for approval from others. 
And then there are people who post their travels, hysterical laughter with friends, messy hair, don't care, real life stuff. There's a line in a Florida Georgia Line song that says, we used to live on Instagram and worry about who all gives a damn. Be the person who doesn't give a damn what others think. Because trust me, it is the person who doesn't care if their hair is perfect or if their outfit is trendy enough that people gravitate towards because their confidence just shines from within. I graduated Langley in 2001 and I will never forget my parents telling me, you have been given a wonderful foundation. The rest, the rest is up to you. They said, use your judgment, but don't be judgmental. Never get in a car with someone who's been drinking. Spend the $10 it would cost to get a safe ride home. I guarantee your parents would pay for it if they knew you were faced with that easy decision, right? And don't gossip. Be the person who doesn't have time to talk bad about others because you're too busy enjoying your own life and your own success. Use judgment. Don't be judgmental. And most of all, so important, Langley taught me to be myself. My hope is that through interaction with your classmates these past four years, you have realized that there are many different types of people in this world and which kind you want to be. Most important, just, just be yourself. Dr. Sue said it long ago, still is true. Today, you are you. That is truer than true. There is no one alive more you -er than you. Nobody is quite like you and that is your power. Congratulations, class of 2020, you did it. This is just the beginning, you are on your way. You have an incredible foundation, the rest is up to you. Good luck. Seniors, seniors, seniors. First, I would like to say congratulations to all the students in this year's graduating class. All your hard work these past four years has not gone unnoticed. And although this may be a surreal or rather unceremonious way to end it, it does not take away from the tremendous accomplishments you all have achieved. Next, I'd like to thank all the parents, faculty, but most of all, our teachers for guiding us from 2016 until now and making our high school experience so memorable. Our four years have brought countless state championships, including golf and field hockey this year, amazing theater performances such as Mamma Mia, and too many MUN best delegations to count. However, our greatest triumph is that we're still superior to McLean. After all the challenging and exhausting work of the first semester, applying to colleges, keeping grades up, on top of sports, theater, and other extracurricular activities, we were all ready to just celebrate. Just as prom, senior events, and graduation were about to happen, the world seemingly changed overnight. And yet, we still had to deal with the stress of the college board failing to receive our responses on the AP exam. We've experienced so much together as a class, from freshman year fight club to the struggles of college applications. And as much as I could imagine being home could be fun, I can confidently say, I don't think watching Tiger King or Avatar on the couch at home is exactly how we envisioned our last few months of our high school experience. It's important for us to make do with what we have though, and turn an unfortunate situation into something meaningful and reflect on everything that high school has taught us. My freshman year, I remember I wasn't doing as well as I hoped in a certain class, so my teacher pulled me aside and told me, if I ever truly wanted to learn something, don't just look at it or read about it, experience it, take part in it, feel it in the moment. She taught me that nothing good has ever happened by looking in from the outside. Junior year, I remember I was having lunch with a teacher and he noticed I was a little stressed out by some upcoming midterms and the next day, I walked into his room and he handed me a gift and told me, happy 712th birthday. Hopefully this will make you feel better. He taught me that just a little bit of thoughtfulness can go a long way. Although our time in high school was cut short, it's important that we stay resilient and remember, we all have bigger and better things ahead. All of us are still kids at heart, but our graduation now marks our passage into adulthood. A few months ago, teacher sent me a quote that reads, life can be so much broader once you discover the simple fact that everything around you that we call life was created by people who are no smarter than you are. It's now our time to shape our life into what we want it to be. Shaping the world around us has and always will be within our grasp. It's just our time now to reach out and take it. 
Congratulations, class of 2020. Good morning. My name is Megan Marquardt, and I'm one of your class of 2020 SGA representatives. Our next speaker is our principal, Ms. Kimberly Greer. Ms. Greer arrived our junior year, halfway through our high school experience, and has made a tremendous impact on our community. Ms. Greer has over 25 years of prior teaching and administrative experience in FCPS. Ms. Greer first earned her Bachelor of Science in Middle Grade Education from UNC Greensboro, and then her Master of Education in Curriculum and Instruction from Virginia Tech. In addition, Ms. Greer also holds an endorsement in Education and Administration from George Mason University. If that wasn't enough to impress you, after teaching English for a number of years, Ms. Greer became an assistant principal at Westfield High School and then joined the administrative team at South Lakes. Most recently, she supervised the World Languages and Special Education Departments at Marshall High. Throughout her career, she's been selected to participate in various LEAD programs, such as LEAD Fairfax and the Center for Creative Leadership. Ms. Greer has instituted a culture at Langley where students, teachers, and administrators have learned and lived by the four C's, care, connect, celebrate, and commence. These past few years, Principal Greer has helped us learn how to care for one another, connect with our peers and community, and celebrate our accomplishments. Now, Mrs. Greer is here to help us complete our last of the four C's, commencement. Without further ado, please join me in welcoming our principal, Mrs. Kimberly Greer. Class of 2020, finally, here we are. This day has been 13 years in the making and unfortunately one month delayed, but you've made it. On behalf of your teachers, administrators, and the entire staff of Langley High School, I congratulate each of you on achieving this great milestone. High school graduation truly is the first step into adulthood, the beginning of the path to independence. Thank you for the indelible mark that you have made upon Langley. You will be remembered for the many ways you touched our school community and for the indelible and incredible contributions that you have made. You shared your academic, athletic, and artistic talents. Over your four years spent at Langley, you helped to enrich our school community. Your achievements included district, region, state championships, and numerous first place wins over a number of areas of competition. These accomplishments are to be lauded, but it's your heart that will be remembered. Class of 2020, you have been our country's hope from the beginning. Each new life that enters the world is special and is cherished. However, you all, you, were different. Each of you entered the world the days and months after the worst terrorist attack on American soil in the history of our great nation. The collective heart of our nation was broken. The wounds of those physically injured were still healing and our emotional wounds were still ever so fresh. While we possessed resolve, our country craved hope. That hope was found in you. As our country looked into your big, beautiful eyes, felt joy, with each of your coos and giggles and inhaled your sense of innocence. You are our hope. You are our reassurance that the world is a beautiful place and we would get through the difficult time. Class of 2020, you're all grown up now. Those innocent eyes have transformed into eyes filled with determination and knowledge. You no longer need us adults to show you the way. You are ready to lead. You again are needed you again embody hope. The world needs you to lead us into this new chapter. While the country has had to adjust to a new normal over the past few months, you have remained positive and strong. You have been adaptable and willing to chart new paths. You have remained hopeful. As you leave Saxon country and embark on the new chapter, please remember to take these attributes with you. They will serve you well but also because the world needs them. The world is a much different place than it was when you entered Langley. For that matter, it's a much different place than it was just a few short months ago. As the country can deal, continues to deal with the pandemic that is now, and is now grappling with the changes, 
regarding what must occur in, for, in order for justice, equality, and liberty to be truly extended to every person across our great land. You must stand as luminaries. If you will be entering the military service, we thank you for your commitment to ensuring our ongoing freedom. If college is your path, we need you to shine brightly as, and to lean in and to share your vast academic talents to further the work in whatever fields of study you pursue as part of your college experiences. We need you to be leaders on those campuses, which are your next stops on your intellectual journeys. However, we need more. Our country requires more. You must take a stand and do your part. Be willing to get to know those who have traveled different paths to get to the point where your lives intersect. Find appreciation for those whose backgrounds and stories differ are different than your own. Use your voices and actions to sow seeds of good, which are so needed to make the world a better place. Class of 2020, you embody not only your parents' hopes and dreams, not only those of Saxon country, but those for our country as a whole. I know this class will do amazing things. You will chart your own paths and find ways to leave the world a better place. Know that we at Langley are here cheering for you, watching to see the amazing ways you will find to contribute to our community, our country, and the world. How you will reflect the change you wish to see in the world. We are so proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. The winner of this year's Langley High School Principals Award exemplifies what it means to be a true Saxon. She is a worker, never content to wait for someone else to make it happen. She is independent and a self-starter. She identifies a need, a way that Langley can be better, and she addresses it. This year, the recipient blended her involvement in broadcast and leadership with a social media presence, which brought a new level of cohesiveness to our school community. She was an active participant in SGA fundraising, homecoming, the winter dance, and many other school-wide activities. When Saxon Broadcast had glitches, which prevented airing the morning's broadcast, this person cheerfully bounded, sometimes sprinted if traffic was extremely bad, into the main office prepared to share the many announcements related to what was happening in the building. As SGA president, the recipient has been a president for all, not only the senior class. Underclassmen have found her to be warm, friendly, and approachable willing to listen to their ideas and their concerns. She truly has served every student at Langley. When I have had a thought or a need related to what could be done to help our school, anything from raising funds for Rise Against Hunger to getting more students to attend sporting events, this person has been a thought partner. She has worked with her leadership colleagues to make it happen, no matter the task. It has been a true joy and my privilege to get to know and work alongside this year's Langley High School Principals Award recipient, Emily Tracy. Good evening, Langley High School Class of 2020. Much has been said and written about the current circumstances in which we find ourselves. Words like chaotic, unprecedented, and uncertain come to mind, just to name a few. Your class has been described as resilient, positive and flexible. And all of these over the course of the past few months have been shown to be true. Your class collectively and individually has been a joy to work with. The past four years have flown by and I've never said this before in a graduation speech, but these have been some of the best years of my career working with your class. Class of 2020, you are more than ready. Today is your day. You will move mountains. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Congratulations, and please come back and tell us all the wonderful things that you are doing. And remember, once a Saxon, always a Saxon. And now for the presentation of the Faculty Award. Each year, the Faculty Award honors a student who has shown positive leadership, academic success, extracurricular involvement, community service, and care towards others throughout his or her time here at Langley High School. Asking our faculty to select one senior who meets all these criteria out of a sea of talented, high-achieving individuals is indeed 
a daunting task. Our amazing teachers have met this challenge, and here is what they are saying about our recipient. This student is an outstanding person. She's always positive. As a high achieving student in my class, she did more than earn my respect. She won my heart with her hugs. This student is such a vibrant person. She is always engaged in class and takes time to enrich her understanding beyond just the material covered in class. This student refuses to give up. This student is helpful to other students and is always patient. This student brightens the room when she comes to class. She's an optimist and always has a smile on her face. This student brings energy and happiness. She thinks of others and wants to pursue a career where she can help others. I really admire Sophia for her liveliness, imagine, imagination, and genuine kindness. I present to you the 2020 recipient of the Langley High School Faculty Award, Sophia Duque. Congratulations on a well-deserved honor. you can Yo 
feel of a thousand kisses Oh, please stay a while I'll reach up to hold Your sunlit face Feels like a handful of silk now I'm in your warm embrace Oh, I hope this feeling lasts Till the oceans turn to glass And the world around us turns and fades to black Together Charm enchanted by your ways in the magic of your eyes, I become lost in their spell. So come closer, my dear, because all is well. Oh, I hope this feeling lasts till the oceans turn to glass. Basmala Defer Abdul Rasak Yulia Samantha On Melis Alara Akinsi Nasser Basil Muhammad Al Rafaya Marcus James Alvarez Graydon Joshua Andres Andrew Harrison Ahrens Madeline Rose Assad Sydney Jahan Bamdad Anna Hemmings Barker Caroline Ann Bean William Park Bean Charlotte Grace Bell Riker Ang Bendewald Avik Bhattacharya Stephanie Shinyi B. Morgan Alyssa Billingsley. Britton Hobbs Boyardi. Madeline Grace Bridgewater. Dakota Charles Brookfield. Catherine Ray Brown Tess Mariah Brown Matthew Peyton Buchanan Jennifer Alexis Canfield Ethan Allen Carlisle Jane Schuyler Karskaden Ella T. 
Talani Chandon. Daisy Deacon Chapin. Viraj Pratap Chegu. Bing Chi Chen. Cherry Guanqing Chen. Jayish Chenupati. Anam Habib Chotani. Natalie Kristen Chow. Aaron Elise Connery. Alina Mariam Dar. Christina Marie Yume Decanter. Julie Joanne Yuli Decanter. Alexander James Dempsey. Stephanie Helen Dermanassian. Celia Derdal. Wilton Alexander Doherty. Claire Louise Duty. Matthew James Duty. Joseph David Dooley. Carlton Kim Drawn. Lucy Jean Dubois. Catherine Josephine Dunn. Sabrina Gabriella Duque Lewis. Whitney Lynn Edgerly. Fatima Estefania Elescano. Jad El Rafi. Gianna Marie Esposito. Madeline Ruth Faust. Brian Lee Feinstein. Jack Christopher Fitzgerald. Matthew Cheyenne Flanagan. Evan Randall Flick. Kinton Edward Fontaine Rosaya. Peter Brendan Fox. Gareth Michael Francis. Emma Michelle Frank. Olivia Frankie. Abigail S. Frankenberg. Lucas Charles Frischling. Charles Owen Gagnon. Sarah Renee Gator. Mingxia Gao. Emma Rose Gatti. Michael Anthony Gotti. Danielle Monique Generous. Jane Ann Gerard. Jacqueline Vanessa Gonzalez. Zoe Rovellas Gould. Emily Chantal Gregory. Jeffrey Morris Grow. 
Nikita Alexandra Gubenko. Megan Renee Guberman. Joshua Sevel Gwyn. Julia Marie Gutgesell. Ian Van Ha. Robert Scott Hodge. August Bernard Hamburg. Alexander Leif Hansen. Alyssa Grace Hanischuk. Muntaha Tasneem Hawk. Anderson James Hauptley. Benjamin Allen Hopley. Aidan William Crayer Herzig. Grace Noel Hetherington. Isabella Nicole Holloman. Cynthia Jai Hu. Caitlin Graham Hunley. Alexander Nelson Hutner. Avinash Benkat Iyer. Elizabeth Julia Jacob. Cameron Clark Jepson. Olivia Wengjin G. Brandon Mesh Johnson. Claire Noel Johnson. Erica Sujung Kang. Sunny Un Kang. Simon Ethan Cassis. Aiden Daly Rausch Kaz. Mary Ellen Gardner Keating. Chloe Elise Kennedy. Aiden Joseph Kenny. Ian Thomas Keogh. Caroline Marie Keys. Aditya Kara. Shayan Mohammed Kwaja. Curtis Young Kim. Ashley Marie King. Joseph Sung Min Cordial. Alp Khan Kotesh. Barish Burke Kotash. Anna Grace Kraus Steinrov. Devich Kumar. Mary Denise Kurbanov. Ariel Shung Yang Lam. Caroline Faith Lavin. Courtney Beatrice Lay. Nash Kevin Peck Leaptrot. Bridget Jin Lee. Joshua Evan Lentz. Rachel Ray Leeson. 
Stephanie Xinyao Liu, Samantha Marina Lobsens, Nicolo Cesare Machiavello, Mark Siegfried Medesian, Abdullah Adel Hussein Malala Ibrahim Malala. Megan Snow Marquardt, Patrick Maurice Marshoon, Catherine Elizabeth Martin, Nicole Rafaela Massino, Nathaniel Lee Mazik. Simon Manuel Medina, Cora Brindley Melton, Una Andreevna Miagkov, Isabel Ruth Miller, Ivan Etienne Monserrati. Diego Francisco Morandi Zerpa, Jillian Susan Morrissey, Nabil Muasher, Daniel Cyrus Musavi, Safe Ashun Marad. Jifa Menawakwa Nepenthe, Gabriella Tan Nguyen, Clara Maria Nichols, Aiden Michael Noonan, Katerina Baustian O'Brien. Patrick Jingyu O, oh. Sun Ho O, oh. Abigail Yadena O, oh. Camilla Elizabeth Orr, Brandon Rong O. Oh. Olivia Catherine Pappas, Jin Sol Park, Bella Rakesh Patel, Lucia Perez Ortuño, Maria Gabriela Parati. Anne Pham, Kao Lin Nok Pham, Richardson Than Tom Fan, Michael Warren Peaster, Jed Theodore Prickett. Karina Ann Riley, Hannah Corinne Richardson, Rogina Elizabeth Rafalgar, Jacob Miller Rose, Samantha Paul Rosenblum. Madeline Perry Blue Rubin, Sabrina Rita Romani, Walid A Sabir, Samin Fatima Saeed, Shahan Salam. 
Bianca, Abigail, Saravia, Escobar. Ashley, Madeline, Sixanian. Elizabeth Grace Sherping. Faye Shaduna Schlocky. James Casey Schof. Michaela Breda Schof. Isabel Amelie Schoen. Danielle Tahir Sheikh. Miriam Zara Shaquille. Ida Melody Shakiri. Isabella Marie Shapiro. Divya Sharma. Ryan Zihao Shaw. Maya Shyam Sunder. Jennifer Diana Siriani. Faith Elizabeth Skeen. Hannah Marie Smith. Maya Eowyn Snyder. Naveen Krishna Sopa. Michael Joseph Spano III. Hannah Dwan Sun. Matthew Bengt Svensson. Mustafa Nazir Sayed. Armin Taharapur. Amanda Lynn Tang. Nathaniel Johannes Tewudras. Ava Alexandra Thompson. Dylan Thomas Tolly. Colin Matthew Toole. Burak Taha Topo. Stepan Toporkov. Dylan Thomas Tori. Bao V. Kayla Tran. Emily Catherine Tracy. Lauren Elizabeth Tracy. Alexandra Lee Trumbull. Darius Dakon Trong. Alikan Tamakanov. Francesca Elena Valdetaro. Megan Elena Vandre. Mihak Vardhan. Trey Napoli Vasiliadis. Matthew August Viola. Andrew William Walker. Ian Alexander Walker. Eric Ruthven Wallace. Lauren Idella Wallace. Andrew Wong. Emmeline Wang. Megan Elizabeth Warner. 
John Chastain West, William Robert Wheat, Pearson Richard Charles White, Ryan James Wilson, Karina Cecil Wugan. Belinda Shi, John Bertal Yasa, Nicole Yehi Yi, Kaylee E. Yim, Hannah Su Jin Yo. Alex Shi Yu, Tara Zarina, Kenny Zhang Shi Zhang, Jason Cho, Principal Kimberly Greer. I hereby certify that the members of the senior class of 2020 have met the graduation requirements established by the Commonwealth of Virginia and the Fairfax County School Board. I declare them eligible for graduation from Langley High School. Class of 2020, now your declaration of graduation. Will the Langley High School class of 2020 please stand? By virtue of the authority vested in me as principal of Langley High School, by the laws of the Commonwealth of Virginia and the governing regulations and policies of the Virginia State Department of Education and the Fairfax County School Board, I hereby confirm that the seniors of the class of 2020 whose names have been presented to me are now graduates. Congratulations. Please stand for the turning of your tassels.